We are here today because we are soon going to open Dames at Sea at the Helen Hayes Theatre. It is awesome to be doing Dames at Sea on Broadway. It's been unbelievable. It's a dream. To bring this for the first time, this, it's nuts. That's all I can say. It's a terrific score being heard for the first time on Broadway. So exciting. And especially with this piece to come to Broadway with, I, I'm a big fan of old style musicals. I, that's kind of what I grew up on. I've been tapping since I was eight. And it was the first kind of dance I started. I was three when I started tap dancing. Um, I'm really inspired by uh, Eleanor Powell. I really loved Danny Carey. I fell in love with Fred Astaire, and I wanted to be Ginger Rogers. I love Ann Miller. Randy Skinner is the real deal. The people that I idolized growing up, Ann Miller and Ginger Rogers, he's, all, he's worked with all of these people. If you want classic, beautiful choreography. He is the guy. I think of him as like the Rosetta Stone to that era. A cast of six with this kind of talent and skill, it makes it joyful to go into the rehearsal hall every day and work with them. I mean, they're just amazing people. I can't think of people that are better for the roles, and, and particularly, they, like I said, with the juvenile and the ingenue, to be able to put this on stage in such a real way that is refreshing and, and truthful so that people embrace it and, and, and lean towards them because they're so good at these kind of parts. Things you see is quick moving, it's funny, it's fast, it's dance heavy, the songs are catchy, it's uplifting, it's funny. It's a perfect celebration of 1933 in every different way that you've ever seen it, all in one little show. When people see Dames at Sea, they're going to leave the theater singing, they're going to leave with a little dance in their step, and hopefully just feeling lighter and with a smile on. I, I hope they expect to have an amazing time and be swept away into an era that we don't see anymore, and that's really refreshing. So I think they're going to be blown away by the dancing. I think they're going to leave at the end of the night and just have a smile on their face. Dames of Thee, coming to Broadway September 24th. And you don't want to miss it.